What's happening there guys and welcome back to another great video. Who hasn't heard of Taylor Swift? We're aware of everything about Swift, from her incredible songwriting abilities, to her ex-boyfriend, to her problems with other celebrities, and a big part of the megastar's life is under constant scrutiny. Here are the five times Taylor Swift called out people in her songs. Number 9. The Tim McGraw Song It's disputed what Taylor's breakthrough song Tim McGraw is about. Numerous speculations regarding the subject of the song are circulating in the Swiftverse, but many think it's about Taylor's ex-boyfriend from high school, Brandon Borello. Before Brandon graduated and left for college, while Taylor was still in high school, the two dated for a while. According to rumors, she wrote the sentimental ballad about lost love when she was in math class. Number 8. Picture to Burn Who wouldn't let T. Swift drive their pickup truck to start with? Apparently, it's Jordan Alford. According to rumors, the epic song Picture to Burn was written as a result of a high school romance gone wrong. But one thing is certain, the song is among Tay's lineup of sassiest and most successful. The song is fun and powerful at the same time with a strong country influence. Number 7. Should Have Said No One of the greatest cheating anthems ever is said to have been inspired by the little fling with an interest named Sam Armstrong. Hopefully he learned his lesson if this is the case. At least we got to groove out to this iconic song from Taylor's discography, even if he didn't. This song has one of the best melodic settings and is really a gem in Swift's collection. With both sadness and remorse, as well as the spirit of moving on, this song speaks for most of us going through a breakup while having moved on from it at the same time. Number 6. You're Not Sorry Forever and Always In the 22nd phone conversation that went viral, the Joe Bro dumped Tay. The breakup gave rise to some very great songs, despite the fact that we're sure she was devastated at the time. She spoke with Ellen DeGeneres about composing Forever and Always about Joe, and on Last Kiss, she included the lyrical hint Forever and Always. Fortunately, since Joe dated Tay's closest friend Gigi Hadid, the two have improved their relationship. She allegedly penned your Not Sorry in reaction to Joe's I'm Sorry, which was made available after their breakup in 2011. Number 5. Dear John and the Story of Us John Mayer has dated some of the most outstanding actresses in Hollywood, and it seems that he has left a path of unhappiness in his way. It's said that Dear John is about him. He has been outspoken about his distaste for the song ever since it was published, since it didn't present him in the best possible light. Fans believe she wrote the story of us about him as well, since John performed at the CMT Awards before the song was composed, and the lyrics of the story of us had a hidden message that said CMT Awards. Both the songs are written in Swift's classic storytelling of writing and are among some of the best breakup songs out there. Swift wrote lines like The Girl in the Dress Cried the Whole Way Home and The Story of Us looks a lot like a tragedy now and captured the true emotions that all of us experienced during a terrible breakup. Number 4. Better Than Revenge According to rumors, Joe Jonas broke up with Taylor Swift to date Camilla Bell. Taylor coped with her feelings by writing a song in 2010 that many mistakenly believed was about the actress, despite the fact that now we'd like to think she would always take the high road. Although Taylor never explicitly said that the song was about Camilla, the actress posted a picture of revenge that seemed to be about Taylor after she was criticized by Kim Kardashian for her acceptance of the Kanye West song Famous. Additionally, it had lines like she isn't who you think, she's an actress, hinting strongly at the profession of the muse. Number 3. Innocent I'll let you go ahead, but Taylor Swift has one of the greatest songs about taking revenge ever. Taylor's answer to Ye's infamous interruption of her VMA winning speech certainly looks like this. The song focuses on how Taylor Swift views Kanye West differently and is willing to acknowledge that everyone is capable of making errors. The song is sincere and calls Kanye out in a manner that encourages Kanye to think positively about himself. This is one of the best examples of how a person can purposely choose to see the other in a better light even after everything they do to them, and this song clearly exhibits Swift's brilliant writing capabilities. Number 2. Everything Has Changed and Begin Again The songs that are said to be about Connor were all wholesome and sentimental. Connor is identified by several lyrical references, such as green eyes and freckles in the song Everything Has Changed. 
Hyannis Port, where Connor's family spends every summer, was the song's coded hint. Despite their four-year age difference, it appeared that he gave her a much-needed reprieve from sadness. Although Swift hasn't said any of the songs are about her ex, the internet is nonetheless a buzz about rumors. Number 1. I Knew You Were Trouble is the song, Style, Out of the Woods, and We Were Never Ever Getting Back Together. No one will ever forget about Tay's performance at the 2013 Grammys, where We Are Never Ever Getting Back Together was performed. People believe she sassed Harry Styles in a British accent while singing her number one single, and she didn't just look flawless, she looked really powerful in a brilliantly sparkly ensemble. Not to mention the incident when she sang in her popular song Out of the Woods about getting 20 stitches in a hospital room, which supposedly occurred after she and Harry got into a snowmobile accident together. Finally, style was assumed to be about the renowned One Direction member, since A, the main actor in the music video resembles the British boy bander, and B, the song's final name really contains the term style. Even if it appears like their relationship was more of a trash fire than a fireworks show, we'd still ship the huge stars. Most of the songs with Harry as inspiration talk about a whirlwind romance full of adventure and sadness, and all of the songs brilliantly capture that emotion. Well guys, that about wraps up this video, so let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, do smash that like button, and if you haven't done so yet, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell icon so you'd never have to miss out on another one of our videos in the future. We appreciate the interest and time you gave to our video, and until the next one, do be careful and goodbye.